here we are, cruising along on the ocean. Stranded. Hey everyone, this is Keith K, and welcome to my Stranded Deep playthrough. Got a request um, to add a playthrough in addition to some of the tutorials, so here we are giving it a shot. Because we're starting from the beginning, uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new game. And you can see here, it's the world map looks like we're, we'll spawn here in the center. And as we set up, we get the initial uh, cinematic of the plane going down, which is quite terrifying. Oh, what was that? Uh, let me just uh, let me check a few emails. Uh, uh, what the crap? Ah! Oh, today of all days, what the heck is going on? I got my seatbelt on. Oh, my clothes are already trashed. How'd that happen? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Right, of course, you can skip this. But the first thing you've got to do, get out of your seat. Find the opening. Where's the opening? And get out of the plane while you can. And head for the light. All right, and we got to get to the life raft. There it is. There's our life raft. And of course, after you see it the first time, you can just hit escape to skip through all that. All right, and here we are. We are in the life raft. Sometimes you end up in the water. Just do a quick look around. Oh, we've got a shipwreck over there. We've got an island right in front of us. So first thing we want to do is either get in the life raft, or if you're in it, press E, because otherwise you'll actually just walk right off it. Um, now what I like to do on the first day, obviously, you've got to get yourself established. You got to get some food and water in place. Um, so normally I would just head straight to the island. Let's see if there's anything worthwhile over here. Oh, I see a little crate. Okay, so you're going to hold E to disengage with the raft. So now you can actually jump in the water, swim over, and oh, what the heck! You have to open this one twice. Uh, so we've got two torches, which is great. Or flashlights, as we call them here in America. And I don't know what that accent was. That one's empty. Okay. So that's a really helpful start to the game. It'll make nighttime a little more productive. So let's get back in the raft and can see there's some islands. Let's just go to the closest island to start. It's just a rock, yeah. And you'll actually go a little slower on these sandbars, so I don't want to get off of this here. Sandbar looks like it goes out and about. All right, this is a good place to park it. So once you get off the raft, uh, it's not going to go anywhere, although in real life you would want to maybe drag it. You can right click and drag it up onto the beach. You actually don't need to do that. And I don't want to look at a flashlight during the day. Now we have some crabs here. I'm not going to go after them right away. It's just good to know we've got some food sources available. Um, what I'm going to do to start off with is do a quick survey of this island. Um, it looks a little on the smallish side based on our map. That's not a surprise. So I'm going to just do some quick surveying. Again, I don't really want to look at these things as I run around. Uh, so let's pick up any rocks and sticks that we see along the way. So you're just, like I said, we're doing a quick survey and gathering whatever resources are just out in front of us. Okay, those will come in handy. And it, okay, looks like there's a biggish island out that way. There's more islands out that way. These are going to need to be chopped up. These bigger driftwood logs. So we'll leave them where they are for now. Although you could, you can pick them up. You can drag them around with you. Really, guys? I'm trying to make a video here. 
Okay. And, uh, oh, all right, that looks like a nice, we're going to have to check that one out pretty soon. It's a bit bigger and a little, and looks close. Okay, so it's on the far side. And there's, there's our little raft where we started. Looks like there's something over there as well. I think that's going to be the target for our base. It's nice on the big side. <clears throat> we should have plenty of resources for us, but we're not going to, I'm not going to go there on my first day. That, that's that's going to wait. Okay, so let's just, again, we're just kind of picking a quick scavenge. Um, this island to me looks too small to start off with um, as our, our initial base. But that doesn't mean we aren't going to be able to get lots of resources. And I'm not going to leave without those crabs, most likely. All right, so we did the perimeter. <clears throat> let's just go through the middle here. Hello. All right. Coconuts. Oh, good. Good, good. We have some fruit. All right. So this <clears throat> this is the area I'm going to set up in right here because I can see that bigger island. And let's go ahead and just dump all this stuff here. Go ahead and drop these rocks. And these tarps will definitely come in handy, but I don't want to set up here with a still or anything like that because I'm not going to stay here long term. All right, so let's, uh, before the sun gets going down, let's grab a couple of coconuts. Actually, I could just chop this tree down. One, huh? All right. So I'm just going to drop this guy here. Uh, let's get started. To craft, we're going to need, you know, I think we're going to want to get a refined axe going pretty quickly and to shelter so we can save our game slash sleep. So to build the refined axe, we're going to need a crude axe and a bunch of sticks. So we've got some sticks started. Crude axe, we're going to need stone tools, wood sticks, and lashings. And now backing up, stone tools are rocks. We just need two rocks, so we're in good shape there. Lashings, we're going to need four of these fibrous plant. Um, so let's get started with a rock. Sorry, with a stone tool. Um, so crafting will only consume one of the two rocks. You need two rocks to make it, but you'll only consume one. And you can we can get started crafting, or sorry, gathering other resources. So let's drop this guy. And we'll pick him up. Now, I don't want to mess around with this for too long, but I do need one lashing to get started. Okay. So find these young palm trees. Just need to get four of them. And then we can be a little bit more productive here. Okay, here's four. All right. So now let's go ahead and craft. Our lashing makes a nice little rope. Okay, and now we can craft ourselves a refined knife, which will take away that stone tool. Now we can be much more productive. And the yucca plant is a great source of lashings. Okay, instead of running around for too long, we can get a bunch all at once. Take that palm tree while we're at it. And uh, these things can grow back really fast sometimes. I don't know if I missed that one earlier. Let's get one more so we can get two lashings out of that. All right, so going back to the crafting menu, crude axe. We need two stone tools and two lashings, okay? So we just gathered up a bunch of these fibrous plants so that we can make a couple of lashings. And we're also going to need a stone tool. 
All right, and now you can craft, I mean, one more, sorry. Now we can craft our refined X. It's gonna use all that up. Just pick him up and equip it. And we're gonna need one more lashing. And so I've got to get three more fibrous plants. You can see this now, this is much more productive. Especially with the sun going, starting to go down. And I suppose you don't need to, but I think that it lasts a little bit longer. It may chop trees down faster. We'll have to do some experimenting with that to see. Okay, so let's craft our one lashing. Let's craft our refined axe, and you can see my the axe is used up, as are some of the sticks. Sun's going down. Now to save, we are going to need at least a shelter. So I need four palm leaves and another lashing for that. And palm leaves are only got from the tops of, you guessed it, palm trees. So let's take this palm tree down. It'll have the added benefit of giving us any of the coconuts that are in there. Or sorry, that are growing at the top of the tree. All right, as you see there, there's one coconut. All right, and now we got, we, we're gonna have to break this up into sections, okay? And you can see that this is one big palm tree. And we'll chop it up into logs, which we can then chop up into sticks. I'll just show you real quick. Just have to keep hacking away at it until you get down to a log. And then we should then we have a bunch of sticks. Now we also need a palm top to make our shelter. All right, here we go. And we do need still a lashing. So I don't have, let's switch to our flashlight here. Okay. And let's check how we're doing. Down on water. Um, which is okay, we've got some coconuts. Let's get our, oh, here's a young palm tree. Let's switch to this. All right, the moonlight, once the moon comes up, that actually will help a little bit. You know, we've got another yucca plant, a ficus. Let's chop these both up. Okay, we'll switch back to our flashlight. Now, I'm very fortunate to have a flashlight. If you don't have one, you're gonna just have to use the moonlight as best that you can, right? Um, to identify, let's just see. All right, we can see here's a young palm tree. It's not too bad once the moon comes up. Immediately following sunset is tough. Uh, the other things you want to look out for when you're getting started is a snake in the grass, which could bite you, um, and that will you know, definitely hurt your health. Uh, we haven't heard anything that would indicate that. We haven't seen it. Um, and also, you know, any hogs that may be roaming, any boars that may be roaming the island. All right, I think we've got plenty here. Let's run back over here. Now, oops, uh, yeah, we are a little low on water. So let's go ahead and dehusk this first coconut. You can see it's been dehusked. We hit it once more. Now it's drinkable. So we'll pick this guy up, equip it. Again, you can see I'm down two waters. So you can get one drink out of that. Um, now I have another one here, so we'll go ahead and drop him. That's the Q key. Re-equip our axe. Two hits dehusks it. One more makes it drinkable. All right.
make sure that's equipped. Okay, and we're good to go there. So let's just uh, put this back together. Yeah, so I'm going to want to head over in that direction. But uh, let's go ahead and let's craft our shelter again. We're going to need just one lashing. We've got everything else. So we've got plenty of those. Oh, the bats are here. That's wonderful. They are just about as annoying as the seagulls and as loud. Let's craft our shelter. And, you know, this is going to be useful because as we set up our base on the other island at Explore, we may have to come back here from time to time um, and gather some resources. We've got some good uh, trees here that may produce more coconuts. We've got some fruit plants. Where'd they go? Uh, that we saw earlier. Right, and those will continue to produce fruit. The kiwawa fruit here. Yeah, I mean, I'm full up on everything, so we don't really need to drink now. Um, and there's those crabs. That would be good food. Now, I'm not going to pick the fruit. I'm not going to pick the... Or, so I'm not going to kill the um, crabs because they will go bad unless we can smoke them. So as long as I can survive off these coconuts, um, and when I need something to eat, I'll grab some fruit. As long as I can do that, uh, I'll put off harvesting those crabs until I can get a smoker built back on or over on that other island. All right, so we've collected a bunch of sticks. And we're going to want to bring the sticks and at least the rocks and tarps with us. So at the moment, I'm going to go, I'm going to save the game at the very least. Okay, we're not ready to sleep. Got a long night ahead of us. Uh, I'm going to just uh, collect a few more resources and I'll be back. Once the sun comes up, we can go explore one of those other islands and see if it's suitable for our base. Because this island is just going to be too small for me. Um, I don't like the setup. I'm going to just harvest some resources and I'll see you soon.